Hey guys, uh, bloody cold this morning and I've already seen a wimbrel uh, down on the shore just over there there's been reports of dumplings, ratchank and some other waders from this bit yesterday so I thought I'd come and check it for myself it's pretty good it's pretty good at least have seen a wimbrel I've seen linnets uh, what else I've heard the sea skin uh, two barn owls morning Uh, yeah, so Crossness has a protected area that is members only and if you can get if you get the membership then uh, obviously you'll get access to the area and for some reason over the past few days um, since I've been coming here I've not seen the owls hunting as in they've just been sitting there and doing nothing one of them actually, I um, think it was a fledgling and uh, there is a mound with uh, some stone structure and the fledgling went in there and came out and stood there for a few minutes and then uh, kept walking back and forth and then went in back so during those few minutes I managed to get some shots but it was pretty dark, the ISO was like 32,000 and then uh, this is what I managed to get out of the photo. Well, it is getting more and more exciting. I've seen five plus lap wings, um, about three, I think they are red shanks, but this one I have to check. Uh, let me try to show you where I've seen them. Just there, on the left. Wow, this is a really amazing morning so far. Common sand piper, those were indeed red shanks I've seen. Uh, yeah, loads of teals, lap wings, million gulls. Okay, uh, I walk a bit further down the Thames path. Uh, Let's see what else I can find, if I can find anything more. Fingers crossed. Now if you're walking along the Thames path here at Crossness, you have to be prepared for the smell. Because uh, there is a treatment plant here. Switch treatment plant and it doesn't smell good at all. Yuck. Well, most of the morning was pretty good because the sun was out so the light was really good it is now getting shitty it's overcast cloudy ah, some wrens dunnocks robins around seen a few more than it a black-tailed godwit that was pretty cool and I am now heading back to the reserve, to the members area. There was a siskin here earlier, but I didn't get a shot of it. Bastard. So this is the path leading back to the reserve. There in the distance there's the hide. 
in the members area which is pretty cool it's a two-story building there's also a little scrape in front of it um, where I've seen regularly a male pheasant a little egret dropped by grey wagtails around dusk for some reason and I understand some people have seen kingfishers there as well so not too bad oh that's flying I'll have to put the camera down and see what's flying over there I didn't catch what they were I'm sure I'll see them again they'll pop up on one of these shrubs at some point there they are just some gold finches nothing exciting A lot of blackbirds hiding around. Okay, so this is the ground floor of the hide. Let's see if there's anything interesting. Usually when you enter the first bird fly away. Usually good on the pond. And there's not much sign of anything else. Chat is what we're calling. Oh, there's something there. There's a St. Martin bank. Very cool. It's a shame they aren't around for the winter. Alright. Let's go upstairs. That scrape over there is pretty popular with waders. Well, usually. I haven't seen anything over the past few days. Maybe those are the ones down there on the path.
let's go and have a look at the other bits of the reserve It's a pretty large reed bed here so I was hoping to see or at least hear some bird at it or even some reed warblers but I had no sign of any of those I think this reed is a bit overgrown. What do you think? It's about my height. Crazy. Absolute craziness. That was unexpected. A lot of grey heron lurking in the grass. Chatties, chatties, warblers everywhere. And then you can go this way and you can go that way. Actually, it actually just goes around the loop. Let's go this way. No idea what the bird box is meant to be for. There's a bird feeder here. But far from what I've seen, it only has peanuts. It's quite strange because not. Every bird likes peanuts. Maybe it would have been a better idea to put some seeds, some flower. some water there
Okay, this one. Okay, this path would take me back. So this is this part of the loop. But then let's go check the other path. This may or may not be a path. If it was a path, then it's already been overgrown by the vegetation. So you'd really need a machete to get across. Oop! That was good. Oh well. Let's go back down. <laughs> 